I am holding a giant tote bag because I'm gonna go get some items from a grocery store and I thought it would be interesting to bring you along especially because I haven't taken any vlogging videos in a grocery store itself and there are some requests from you guys for me to go to a grocery store and vlog about it so today I decided to finally give it a go right now it's Friday 6 6 30 p.m. I'm not sure if you can see it the clock behind me um, so it's probably going to be quite crowded because I'm going to the grocery store in the city center of Helsinki um, it's called called Posti Talo K Market. And by the way, in Finland there are a few groceries chain stores like K Market, S Market and Aliba and of course Lido. So those are the four main prominent supermarkets. I usually go to the K Market because it's closest to my home. And sometimes I go to Lido as well if I am looking for some specific item that are much more cheaper in price compared to the one that I could get from Kmarket. But today I'm going to Kmarket and also Lidl because I'm going to get some meat from Lidl shop. Just a little side note, you might notice that I don't usually wear masks when I'm vlogging in public because in Finland people don't usually wear masks when they are in like open space. However, grocery store or visiting some shops then it is quite recommended to wear masks. But however, there are still people that doesn't wear masks. I guess it's really totally up to your choice. So I hope that you enjoy watching this grocery shopping in Helsinki vlog. Let's go! <laughs> I am ready to go now and I'm also bringing the trash so that I can throw it on the way but let's get going this place used to have the first ever post office here in Helsinki but recently they moved out of this building so yeah right now it's empty this K-Market Bustitalo has a Chinese buffet selection, which I haven't tried before. The sushi looks quite fresh to me as well, even though it's like late in the evening. Let's go in! An aisle full of warm, ready-made food. And my favorite salad aisle. Pick up a bowl, take any type of salad, toppings that you like and then you just have to wait it in and usually it just costs always less than 10 euros i wonder if these are russian pancakes though so from this machine you can get freshly squeezed orange juice whole bunch of berry selection and i guess i'm just selecting which like a size of blueberries i should be getting i decided to just pick up the big portion because why not I'm getting two pieces of croissants I have to click on the number two and then I have to click on the croissant item number which is 95 and then the price tag is going to be printed out then I move on to my favorite aisle which is the aisle of cheese and I guess I was just looking for which cheese I should be getting in the end, I settled with the kuda cheese, um, Sadiston kuda cheese. Uh, that's from Avenama. I have tried it in my cheese taste testing video, so you can take a look at it. And then this is just an aisle full of cake and some sweet stuff. I didn't buy it this time. Then we have reached the bread aisle. I thought that this Reisus Mies, which is the traveling man, is quite funny. It's very trendy since he's wearing a mask. Actually, this it's my favorite bread, but the man isn't really wearing the mask. And there I am trying to tell you that I have started using the grocery list, which is the new habit that I have adapted after I moved to Finland. And there is my favorite bola which is Y Silama. And this is my grocery list for the day. And then I got distracted because I saw these vegan bean aisle. I just wanted to quickly show it to you. 
they have this fresh selection of fish, meat and whatnot. And then I quickly move on to the potatoes, onion, that type of section. Plan is to get this Ulay's Peruna. I set up my camera on top of the shelf and I started picking up the potatoes. And once again, I had to weigh my potato, print out the price tag, and I move on to pick up some carrots. There's a variety of carrots, as you can see. I was a little bit taking too long to select and in the end i chose one kg package which is going to sit in my fridge for a long long time then they have moomin selection a lot of different kind of moomin marks and tea and that looks very striking really cute bikumu i need that in my life asian aisle in this grocery store i was quite impressed by the amount of different asian spice sauces which is quite impressive and of course they have the usual aisle full of different spices baking related stuff in the whole aisle as well very famous polyg coffee which is well loved in finland and of course they have other variety of coffee as i was looking for elovena oats because i wanted to make a uh, buro which is the porridge i wasn't able to decide what type of oats i should be getting so in the end i ended up getting something that already said buro on the packaging then there is a whole colorful aisle of clipper tea uh, which is also my favorite they also have a really huge variety of microwave food and lately since i've been working from home quite a lot i've been eating a lot of microwavable food and this rice and curry is my favorite so far and there i am trying to decide which type of yogurt i have to buy and in the end i settled for the gahavi which is coffee yogurt which is our favorite and in this store you can pick up the fresh eggs from the basket and put it in the carton yourself but i settled for a ready-made egg which i could just easily grab and go and also cheaper then i realized i'm running out of my almond milk so i grabbed one and once again they have a whole variety of plant-based milk then i remember i have to look out for juice and when i saw this molly aisle i was suddenly thinking is it the same type of juice dave cat was advertising on his instagram but in the end i just settled for this small little arla smoothie because i didn't want to carry so much and once again they have a whole shelf full of different variety of ice cream i didn't get any but then it's really nice to keep ice cream in my video I went out to look for the peanut de gato, which is the spinach, frozen spinach soup. And in the end, I grabbed one. Okay guys, I think I have pretty much everything that is on my list to buy in this K-Market Positalo. Um, it's getting a little bit heavy as well, so... I guess I'm gonna go check out. Let's go. It's actually very, very difficult to vlog when you're trying to do grocery. Like, not just multitask, it's like triple, triple multitasking. I have to talk to the camera, I have to look at the list, and I have to find the item here as well. So a lot of processing work for my small brain, but I'm glad I made it. And now I'm gonna go check out um, at the counter and I'm gonna head out to Lidl. Finally, 
some fresh air. So I'm here at the Stockman area and they have put out the Christmas lights and that's really beautiful but the only thing is that every year they have the same light decoration but still it looks really dazzling especially because it gets so dark so quickly so it's beautiful right here. I'm supposed to get Gadiel and Baiste beef cubes so that's what I'm looking for in this Lidl store um, so I know where it is I'm actually right next to it so let's get it done quickly Thank you guys so much for accompanying me to do my grocery shopping it was definitely so much fun even though it was a little bit busy for me because I had to talk to the camera and check all the items from the grocery list at the same time but it was so much fun I would also love to know where you usually get your grocery done whether you're in Finland or other part of the country or other part of the world so let me know in the comment section below if you enjoy watching this kind of video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video.